How do you think you would benefit our company? I think that I could bring a great attitude and a kind of positivity that would lighten everybody's day. How do you deal with pressure or stressful situations? Honestly, I just try to smile through the stressful situations. What type of work environment do you prefer? I would prefer a positive and uplifting work environment. <laughs> thanks for coming in. I appreciate your positive attitude. You got the job. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah. Welcome back, TJ. It's the Incas for today, Brazil. And Vince. Ready to kick off the week for you. To start, there's a TJ class of 24 meetings scheduled for today. Which was going to be on today, but since there was a snow day, it was moved to today. But it's snowing today, but not a snow day. Like the snow day which we had, which was a snow day, but not like this snow day, which isn't a snow day. Or something like that. Anyways, there's a meeting today in room 149 during lunch. Be there to finalize the prom location. I hope our prom is at Waffle House, because I know it'll be a night to remember. As well as several injuries to remember, if you go there. Up next, there's a lacrosse meeting this Wednesday after school in room 225, going over off-season opportunities and important info for the season. And if you can't make it, make sure to contact Coach Klimzak with questions. Speaking of which, lacrosse is a sport, I think. And since we're good at our jobs, let's send it to the other sport. Sports! Hey, Jaden. It's TJ. The rest of my team trusted me to make the sports all on my own. And I'm here to prove that's a mistake. We're starting off this week with stories of victory, as both men and women's varsity basketball has won their games this weekend at Lincoln. Girls won 40-21, to and the boys managed to win with an amazing 74-35. to Along with this, the senior Kate Little of Swim and Dive is qualified for, state for the state meet next month, as well as taking second place in the DPS Invitational last Friday. In professional news, the UFC, UFC 283 happened last week. And a lot happened. The co-main co event of the night was an unprecedented rematch with Brandon Moreno versus David Figueredo fighting for the championship for the fourth time, becoming the first four-fight series in all of UFC. Along with this, Glova Teixeira got stomped for the belt yet again, losing to Jamal Hill. At this rate, I honestly think the only action that we are going to see from Glover is putting the gloves down. But that's been all for sports, TJ. Hope to see you around. Oh, it's Will. It's Will. And Jake. And we had games Saturday against Lincoln, uh, JV and Varsity both won, so. Uh, tomorrow there's games at Kennedy. Yeah, wish us luck in the halls. What's up TJ, it's Lucy from Girls Basketball. We had a game this Saturday against Lincoln and we won. And then tomorrow we have a game against Kennedy, so wish your girls luck in the hall. Man, I sure love sports, especially when they throw the ball. Still on the sports topic, TJ Girls flag football team got to play last Saturday at the Mile High Stadium, the same one which the Broncos play at, which is pretty neat. And we are hearing that they're currently beat they currently beat the Broncos twenty two to seventeen, which is awesome. Oh wait, this is just the girls flag football team. They did not actually play the Broncos last week, even though they probably would have won. Coach Meyer also said that 22 teams played this year, and that next year the program will expand to 68 teams. And considering I can't count that high, that's pretty awesome. Let's play a little bit of the footage from Saturday. Girls team. Now, before we get fired for attempting to unionize, let's send it to admin, who hopefully isn't slashing our budget and workforce as we speak. Spartan Edition asked me uh, to say something for the admin. Something. <laughs> Thanks, admin. I love this job, so I love you. And to cap it off for today, let's send it to news. See you later, TJ. What's up, TJ? It's H. Drywall and Jonathan with the news. A North Carolina man rescued a deer wandering in his neighborhood with the bucket stuck over its head. What a heroic man. I think we have him on the scene right now. Let's see what he has to say. No shot, this is him. Yo, yo, are you the guy oh. who uh, saved that deer with oh, the bucket? Please, no photos, man. Come no, on, man, no. we just need this for the news. Hi, no. um, right, man. I, 
Did you did you uh, take that bucket off that deer's head? I actually did take the bucket off the deer's head. I had the bucket with me right now. Um, it was actually moments before you know you got here at the somehow right time, man. I, was, I just took it off and I'm just sitting with the bucket. What do you want? To, what do you want to say to all your diehard fans out there? Bucket gang goes hard, man. Now walk off firm really slowly. Okay. Well, that was something. What a guy. In further news. Storms have been rampant recently. Heavy snowfall and tornadoes have wrecked havoc in the Midwest and South. This has led to road closures and snow days. We have Tyler Guy on the scene. He must have something good to say. Hey, it's Tyler. I'm currently in a snowstorm. It's a little cold out here. The conditions out here are actually pretty chill right now. Oh jeez, that was a freaking rocket, man. Slight snow right now, as you can see, but you don't know what will happen later. Yeah, no sun. Um, nothing much has changed. I'm not gonna lie; it's still about the same <laughs> amount of snow over here. Driving. I'm freezing. Do it. Please go inside, man. I am freezing. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Ty. You are a real one. We don't have any more news for you. See you later, TJ. Hey, TJ. It's Selena from Interact Club. We have a meeting today at lunch in room 108, so make sure you're there. Um, come and hang out. It's pretty substantial. If a hole is five feet deep, three feet long, and two feet wide, how much dirt's inside? Zero. Seven feet. Okay, how could a man stand outside in the pouring rain without protection and not get a single hair on his head wet? He's bald. <laughs> what two keys can't open any door? A and B on a piano. A monkey and a donkey. <laughs> Mine was better. If you have a bowl with six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? I mean, I know this is going to be wrong, but it should be two, right? You have a bowl with six apples, and you take away two. It's five. 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 <laughs> and you take away four. How many do you have? No, you have six apples, and you take away four. How many do you have? Four. You have four. But I have six. No, you have four. No, you have four. Um, so, yes, I get the question is crazy, because the answer is four, right? My man had a trash can on his head. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, if a plane crashes on the border between the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? You don't bury survivors, Sam. They're alive. Yeah, I agree. Word. <laughs> a girl fell off a 50-foot ladder but didn't get hurt. How come? I have no clue. She Why? The bottom step. Mm. What? What word in the dictionary is spelled incorrectly? Incorrectly. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>